So after a long four year wait, many closed beta tests, many server maintenances and the game dying probably about two or three times, it's finally gone free. World War 3, the game of course, has finally gone into an open beta. It's actually not a drill for once, it's finally happened. Though, it definitely isn't without its issues. So it finally went free on September the 29th, which is today that I'm recording this, and it's set to be an open beta for an infinite, as they say, an ongoing open beta. Whether this will be another four years, who knows. But it's finally here. Uh, there are currently around five maps in the game with uh, small ends, which a lot of people won't have played before. And the other maps are Berlin, oh, Warsaw, so Polanyi, and Moscow, of course. Now, I guess you could say it's a, a tactical online FPS action is what they describe it as. It is kind of a mix between an arcadey milsim. So it's something between a mix of many FPSs. It takes stuff from COD, Battlefield, Siege, even bits of Tarkov and stuff. And to be honest, it's a relatively okay, good game. I'm going to leave some clips running in the background just so you can get an idea of how gun recoil may work, how movement kind of looks. Uh, but it's definitely a game that I feel like you should be downloading. Now, the issue with that. This game is free to play on Steam. It doesn't actually use the Steam launcher. So when you download it from Steam, it downloads their third party launcher. Uh, where then you then subsequently download the game. Now, the issue is, I know a lot of people have been having problems with downloading this game. Um, I've heard from some people that it is peer to peer, others that it is not. Uh, but currently, when I was streaming this game uh, today, a lot of people were downloading this game at like 1 megabit per second and it having like 19 hours left. So that is obviously a key issue that you need to look out for and maybe keep that in mind when downloading. Maybe it's something you want to download while you're at work or while you're sleeping. And now another big issue are the servers. Uh, this has been an issue throughout its life cycle, the whole four years you could say. Um, there currently is a server queue for this game. I don't know how many people are allowed on the servers. I heard 5,000. No idea if it's true. Uh, but the server queue is a big, big issue. If it stops you from playing the game, it definitely sucks. Now, without constantly going on about the game's issues, which are mainly just server issues, I wanted to go over some positives quite quickly. Now, one of the key ones is the customization. From how you can customize your soldier's gloves, its helmet, and also how you can customize the grip and stocks of your weapon that you know don't actually affect how the weapon performs but just how it looks. The gunsmith which I couldn't get any footage of as there is a queue of a thousand for the servers it runs similar to how COD Modern Warfare 2's work where you're allowed a, a, a set amount of attachment on each weapon uh, but they actually f affect your weapon in a huge huge way and you almost kind of rely on them to get less recoil and, and better accuracy and stuff like that. I personally also find the gunplay extremely fun, or at least for me. Maybe it's because I'm used to worse FPS games, I don't know. Only time will tell. But for me, it feels very rewarding to actually get a kill. It seems skillful with the amount of recoil. Whether or not it's random or controllable is something I haven't found out yet. But just progressing the weapon and grinding attachments to make the weapon kind of your own and getting kills with it is very satisfying, at least to me. One little thing that I think could be improved on is the movement. It's still a very little bit clunky, especially when going from standing to sprint, sprint to prone, prone to sprint, and stuff like that. I feel like it could be smoothened out a little better. But, do I think this is worth a download? Personally, I think it is. I mean, it's free. You can't go wrong. Whether or not how long it takes you to download it is the only thing I could see it being a downside. But personally, if you have time to download this and you want to try it out, a new FPS game, it's definitely worth the download. Try it out and let me know what you think. Now, if you already have played this, whether it's been in the last couple of weeks or maybe the past four years, let me know what you think of the game, what you think of the positives and negatives, how it can improve, whether or not it will fail, succeed. I want to know what the community's general outlook on this game is. Uh, but apart from that, feel free to leave a like, subscribe uh, if you like this type of content. I also do Battlefield as well. But until then, I'll catch you guys in the next video or maybe another stream. Who knows? Peace.